Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and I'm here today um, to talk about some up, an upcoming event and uh, how we got to that place. It's the 100th anniversary of the National Extension Service Program and I have Allie here and Sally both from the Extension Office in Queen Anne's County and um, I guess the first thing is 100 years. How did the extension come about and most people probably don't even know what all you you guys do. You're probably right, Debbie. Most people don't. <laughs> so extension is actually literally an extension of the land grant system. Oh, that makes sense. Um, okay. Land grant universities were established under President Lincoln in order to bring education to more of the common population. Okay. You know, not so much the Yales and the Harvards, but make education available for everyday Every. individuals. Every state in the nation has a land grant institution. Okay. And in 1914, Congress established an act called the Smith-Lever Act, which took education that was research-based and scientifically based to the communities at the local level. Oh, okay. So here in Maryland, in every single county, there is an extension office. So there are 23 county offices, and there's also an office in Baltimore City. See, I wouldn't have thought that. You wouldn't have thought that. Most <laughs> people wouldn't know that. And our job is to work with everyday people around everyday solutions for the problems that they have in their life. But we do have a mission and a directive, and we work in four specific areas. We work in the area of agriculture, mm -hmm. environment and natural resources, family and consumer science, which deals with issues of um, understanding how uh, your money works, what good credit okay. is, but we also have a nutrition and wellness section, and we have a healthy home section of our family and consumer science programming. Do you understand what you need to do to test your well, for example, gotcha. so that your well water is safe? And then we have 4-H, which Sally's gonna talk about in a few minutes. Um, but under our agriculture program, we work with local farmers um, at the county level to help them understand risk assessment, how to increase their productivity, okay. to potentially how to start a new small farm. Our office is responsible for writing nutrient management plans uh, for that's farmers. That's a big deal for and farmers. And we do that at no cost to the farmer. Okay. That's a great benefit, that's a financial benefit huge. to the farmer. Right. And so many of you know Jenny Rhodes who does a lot of programming and she herself is a farmer here in Queen Anne's County. In the area of um, environmental and natural resources, we have a forestry program. Okay. Um, all of our master gardening program, which so there are lots of master that's gardeners. That's the first thing I think of is your master gardeners garden. because they're do, they do projects all across the county. All across the county. Mm -hmm. So the garden, right. for example, the rain garden at the library, yep. they have a garden down at the 4-H park. They do some work with schools to establish what we call Baywise Gardens. Mm -hmm. When we all garden, we need to think about runoff. Just like right. farmers think about runoff, we as individual citizens need to think about what we put on yep. our lawn or how we manage our garden so that water goes down into the ground right. rather than running off into the bay. Right. And then part of our environment and natural resource um, component is also a very specific program called Sea Grant, which deals specifically with the health of the bay okay. and the aquaculture of the bay. So we have faculty and staff working in all those areas. As I shared a little bit about family and consumer sciences, we're looking at health the health of your money, the health of your home, and the health of you as an individual mm -hmm. from a nutrition and wellness perspective. And we do everything from working at the senior center to working in the local schools, both in, during the school day and in an after school program. So what, what we are and who we are is much bigger than just 4-H or just right. agriculture. Because that's the first thing people think exactly. of. They'll say, oh, the extension, oh, that's for farmers right. or that's for 4-H, and they don't realize that you offer all these other mm -hmm programs. I know um, you do canning classes mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff and you know people I, I that always gets me because right. I never thought about that from you all. And this year in particular we, we really kind of stepped out on cutting edge with a, an issue that's very important to all of us and those are the changes in the healthcare system. So we developed a curriculum called Smart Choice which helps you as an individual understand what your health needs are and then how do you choose a correct plan. Oh, okay. Not do you choose Blue Cross or Aetna, but do you choose an EPO, do you, you choose a PPO, right. do you choose an HMO, or do you want to consider a health exchange. So we are able to either offer that at an at-large forum, you know, uh -huh. having something at the local library, and or we can go to a, a company at the time of their um, re-enrollment for healthcare benefits and sit down and provide classes, right. actual hands-on work 
for individuals to understand I definitely who we would have are and what never we thought need. extension in healthcare <laughs> would exactly. have never put the two together. So we really are about solutions in your community. So we are trying to be responsive to the needs in the four areas that we talked about, which I'm going to segue right into Sally because <laughs> she works with our youth um, in the 4H program and we have a lot to celebrate. Um, at this time of year with 4-H. Well, that's too. I was going to say. Yep. So <laughs> tell us about 4-H and what's coming up that's important about that in October. Okay. Well, we've got 15 um, active clubs in the county, Queen Anne's County. And what's coming up is our national 4-H week. And that is when 4-Hers from across the whole nation celebrate and promote 4-H okay. all at the same time. <clears throat> Our clubs will be putting up displays. They can be posters, they can be trifolds, window displays. And the ones that they put up, we will have community judges go out and judge. Okay. And our Queen Anne's County 4 H All Stars will be providing the prize money for the top and displays. Where will they where where can people look for these at? They, Anywhere? They will have them throughout the county. Okay. Um, normally there's one on Ken Island Library, uh, some around Centerville, up in the northern county around Sudlersville. The clubs can put them wherever they wish and they let okay. us know before it's judging time where we need to go awesome. to judge. Okay. <laughs> and also a big part of the National 4-H Week is the National Youth Science Day. And that takes place, uh, the, the week is October <coughs> 5 through 11. <coughs> Excuse me. And the Wednesday the 8th is the National Science Youth okay. Day. And that day all the 4-H'ers across the nation can do the same science experiment. Oh, nice. It changes every year. And this year, they're going to have a lot of fun. This year is rockets to the rescue. So everybody, can, everybody <laughs> across the country is doing this all at the, same, the same time. Right, okay. right. And what they're doing with the rockets is they uh, are given a scenario that there's an island and that's had a natural disaster. And they are in desperate need of food. So but it can't come by land and it can't come by sea. So, it has so to. that leaves the air. So they're going to have little rockets. Nice. There are kits that uh, they are have access to, which have guidelines. Okay. And they have uh, parts to make their rockets and their launchers. They'll be making their launch pads out of PVC pipe and actually empty two-liter soda bottles. Okay. So they connect the soda bottle to the PVC pipe launch pad, and then they will stomp on that. Oh, get out of and here! And that launches. Whoop, the rocket up <laughs> it launches it, it launches it's the rocket. blasting off <laughs> oh that's um, so cool and what they learn is all the aerodynamics right they, and they learn about the lift propulsion gravity that sort of mm -hmm. thing and they're also learning about food safety so it's a kind of a combination they get more out of it and they will build their rocket they'll plan it they'll build it they'll launch it then they'll go back and they'll make different <coughs> corrections to it to do because to they it. have to land it on this island they can't land it out in the sea right so they will be working on their pitch so do the kids do they have to be in 4-h to participate in this or is it open to any kids it's our 4-hers that are okay. doing it but other other kids can definitely come okay and, and learn and help and participate wonderful and wonderful it, it's oh, going to be exciting. one that they're going to learn a whole lot and they're going to have a lot of fun doing it and that's the really cool thing about extension debbie you know i have in front of me which the camera can't necessarily get an actual f um, folder that goes back to the archives of reports from 1914. that's 100 years 100 years when extension was really concerned about providing food at the local mm -hmm. community level. But through every decade, we've responded to the changing needs mm -hmm. in our community. So for example, the healthcare issue that we just talked about, or the fact that 4-H is now working on rockets and right. science mm -hmm. and technology. Right, right. Yes, we still are interested in traditional 4-H programming, but we recognize not everyone wants to be a farmer. Right. And that through youth development, mm -hmm. we can help kids become really engaged citizens and respond to the needs that they're going to encounter as they go to middle school and high school right. and on to college. So we're really hoping that folks will stop by. Our open house is That's what October I was say. When 3rd is from 4 to 6, and we will actually have some youth there mm -hmm. who are going to share the okay. projects that they're working on in 4-H. All of our faculty and staff will be on hand to talk about the different programs that we offer at the community level. 
We'll actually have some goodies to eat <laughs> um, and some old photos on display. So we certainly hope that you'll come by. We are located right where the sheriff's That's office is. That's what I was going to say. You, everybody mm -hmm. probably drives right by there you and drive doesn't right realize by. <laughs> you all are right the first door you come to right, in the right. building there. And that very first, that night you won't be able to miss us because we'll have some tents outside okay, and wonderful. some exhibits outside. So we hope that you stop on by and help us celebrate this really important milestone not only on a national level, but here in Queen Anne's County, where we were on the cutting edge of right. getting mm -hmm. extension right. started. So that's October 3rd that's right. at the extension office, mm -hmm. and then National 4-H Week is October 5th through the really? 11th. Mm -hmm. right. And if they want to find out more about the rocket um, building, I'm not going to say contest, but <laughs> experiments, right. experiments. Um, they can mm -hmm. contact the office, and we have your information on the screen. Thank yes. you guys so yeah, much for coming so much. in, and I hope that some people, you know, learn that you all aren't just about farming and that type of stuff. You do everything for the community. Right. Yes. Thank you both. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome.